Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vaishnavi, your ENT faculty on the Prep Ladder platform and today I am here with yet another animated videos for you to help you understand uh, the disease that is Meniere's disease very easily. Now, Meniere's disease is a disease of the inner ear where there is excessive endolymph production or decreased reabsorption resulting in symptoms of vertigo, sensory neural hearing loss and tinnitus. Now, what we are going to understand from this animated video is basically what is the pathogenesis or pathophysiology of this disease. So, what is happening exactly in this disease? So, let's start first by understanding this video with the help of anatomy. So, when we see the inner ear, there are three compartments, scala vestibuli above, scala media in the middle and scala tympani below. The scala vestibuli and scala tympani are having perilymph whereas scala media has endolymph which is produced and reabsorbed by stria vascularis. Now stria vascularis will also produce and also reabsorb. Now if there is excessive endolymph in the scala media what would happen? So if you see the resonous membrane is separating the scala vestibuli from scala media and if there are any stimulants that cause increased endolymph production, the resonance membrane bulges and there are micro tear or rupture, allowing the perilymph and the endolymph to mix with each other. The basic constituents of perilymph is it is rich in sodium, whereas that of endolymph is it's rich in potassium. Now, when these two fluids mix, the sodium potassium imbalance occurs, the depolarizing events will change and hence the, at the receptor level, the function of the receptor will be altered resulting in symptoms. Now inner ear basically is responsible for hearing imbalance. So obviously if the receptors are not functioning well, there will be imbalance and improper hearing. That is what we see in Meniere's vertigo, sensory neural hearing loss and tinnitus which is the ringing sensation in the ear. So I hope you understood the basic pathogenesis or pathophysiology behind what happens exactly in Meniere's disease. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe and comment in the section below so that we will be able to give you more such videos on a regular basis. Take care and bye-bye.